From several groping scandals to LARPing as a Mexican-American, these are some of Ben Affleck's most controversial moments ever. That said, let's start off with the time he harassed Hillary Burton on TRL. As many of you might remember, when the New York Times first broke the Harvey Weinstein story in 2017, Ben Affleck also joined the list of actors who were voicing their disgust over the media mogul's conduct. If memory serves, the Goodwill Hunting actor took to his socials and issued a statement saying how saddened he was at working with Weinstein, someone with a decade of sexual abuse allegations against him. But the chickens came home to roost, as Affleck himself was accused of sexual misconduct moments later. Now, what happened was that after he posted this statement, a Twitter user reminded everyone how the then-Batman actor didn't exactly have a clean record either and that everybody seems to forget how, back in 2003, he groped 19-year-old Hillary Burton's breasts on Total Request Live. Hillary, now 35, responded that she hadn't forgotten. The One Tree Hill actress then also shared a video clip of the cold opening where we could hear her saying how Affleck had tweaked her left boob. Yikes. Before anyone points this out, I am aware that he apologized soon after the incident was brought to light. But let's not forget how his apology didn't specifically acknowledge that he had harassed her, or how it ended up prompting yet another allegation. Yes, you heard that right. After Affleck issued his apology, Anna Marie Tendler, a makeup artist who you might also know as John Mulaney's ex-wife, demanded an apology from the Gone Girl actor as well. She recalled how, just three years earlier, in 2014, he had grabbed her butt at a Golden Globes party. To make matters worse, the comedian Jen Statsky backed her claims and reported how something similar had happened to a bunch of her friends as well. As for that apology? While Ben apologized to Hillary, he hasn't said anything about Tendler's remarks to this day. Speaking of, this isn't the only thing he's adopted a hush-hush attitude on. The actor also tried to conceal his family's racist past. Now, in case you haven't heard, there's a PBS show called Find Your Roots, where Harvard University's Henry Louis Gates Jr. reveals, among other things, celebrities' ancestral histories. Yes, it's the same show where the Glass Onion actor Edward Norton discovered that he was related to Pocahontas. Affleck, unfortunately, wasn't as lucky as Norton, since one of his ancestors turned out to be an enslaver. Now, it's one thing to have an enslaver for an ancestor. If anything, it's a reminder of how we're still living with the consequences of America's racist history. However, and as was the case with Affleck, it's a completely different thing to try and hide that your ancestors owned slaves. The fact that he tried to conceal how his great-great-great-grandfather, Benjamin Cole, owned 25 slaves only cropped up when WikiLeaks published emails from the Sony hack. The said emails clearly show how Ben pressurized the host into squashing the sequence. Now, of course, he later justified his behavior on Facebook, complete with a spiel about how he neither deserved credit nor blame for something his ancestor had done. Now, as one fan rightly pointed out, no one was asking the actor to take the fall for his ancestors. He should simply not have run from it, and acknowledged it like so many other actors on the show. But if there's one thing we all know, it's that he's not like other actors. Like, there are not many actors who'd slide into a fan's DMs after being rejected on a dating app. I wish I were making this up, but back in 2019, a TikTok user who goes by Naveen J, to everyone's surprise, updated a short clip captioned that she once matched with the actor on a dating app called Raya. However, thinking that someone was catfishing her, she unmatched him. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, the Paycheck star decided that it'd be a good idea to find her Instagram and slide into her DMs. Now, while Naveen herself didn't take issue with the actor's behavior, a lot of fans deemed it inappropriate or stalkerish. This mention of dating and inappropriate behavior reminds me of another moment that wasn't a good look for him. Gather around as I discuss the Nannygate scandal up next. If you haven't put two and two together yet, Nannygate was when, in 2016, Affleck's ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, came clean about how he had an affair with their children's nanny, Christine Uzunian. Before any of you ask, the two of them had already separated by the time Affleck became involved with Christine. Now, while this might not come off as problematic to most people, it was controversial, because Garner not only had to explain their nanny's sudden absence to their children, but also the meaning of a scandal. But despite all this, Jennifer asked fans not to beat Ben up about it. 
Instead, she explained how pain sometimes makes people do regrettable things, and that while people may think otherwise, her eyes were wide open during the marriage. Because we just finished discussing Nannygate, I think it'd also be a good time to get his behavior on any given Wednesday out of the way. In case you didn't catch it, while he was on the HBO sports discussion show, the star was, excuse the bad joke, pretty dazed and confused. So much so that some fans started speculating if he'd hit the bottle beforehand. Now, even though an anonymous source later dismissed this rumor simply by saying that the Oscar winner just gets really passionate about the Patriots, I don't think anyone would be passionate enough to drop no fewer than 18 F-bombs over Deflategate, of all things. For all of my non-sports fans out there, Deflategate was when Patriots' Tom Brady was accused of football tampering, which in Ben's opinion was the ultimate bullshit fucking outrage of sports ever. Look. I get that it's difficult to control our emotions when it comes to our favorite sports stars, but no matter how much one loves Tom Brady, one doesn't start slurring their words over him. Especially not a man like Affleck, who once labeled kissing a man his greatest acting challenge. If you've seen the film, you'd know that there's a chasing Amy scene where Affleck had to kiss his co-star, Jason Lee. Nothing controversial there, right? Well, if filmmaker Kevin Smith is to believe it's what the star said after the scene that ruffled fans' feathers, turns out he called gay kissing sequences an actor's greatest challenge. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he also went on to say how the kissing scene had finally made him a serious actor. And get this, fans weren't the only ones incensed at his comments. The Westworld actor Evan Rachel Wood took to Twitter to knock some sense into him as well. She began by saying how Ben should try getting assaulted in a scene and also told him to grow up. Then when a die-hard fan came to the Batman star's defense, saying how he'd made those remarks two decades ago, would also lay into him. The actor said, and I loosely quote, that not only was the idea damaging, even if it was meant as a joke, but also that women actors do not enjoy making out with every guy just because it's a straight kiss. Now. Some of you might say that we shouldn't be judging the actor so harshly, just based on what Smith said, and later tried to deny it on Facebook Live as well. But here's your reminder that at the time of the film's release in 1997, Affleck himself told Entertainment Tonight that even though he wasn't homophobic, he guessed he was, in the sense that while the scene shouldn't have made him uncomfortable, it did. No offense, but from where I see it, Wood was expecting too much from someone who didn't have a problem pretending to be another race. If you're confused, I'm referring to the actor's second directorial effort, Argo. For those of you who don't know, Ben played the role of Tony Mendez, a real-life CIA operative who helped save six American hostages from Iran in the 1970s. Now, even though the film won Best Picture at the 2013 Academy Awards, not everyone was happy with Ben's success. Battlestar Galactica's Edward James Olmos was especially upset, and went as far as to accuse Affleck of whitewashing the event by not giving a role to a Latino. Edward also listed off a bunch of actors, including himself, who would have made a perfect fit for the role, saying how the film wouldn't have been made had he or any of these actors been signed on for the character. What's more, he explained how Affleck's casting would take away from the fact that Mendez was a Chicano, born and brought up in El Paso, Texas. Now, instead of acknowledging that most of what Olmos had said was right, the Deepwater actor told journalist Maria Nieto how he had the operative's approval to play the role. To add to that, he explained, since Tony doesn't really have a Spanish accent, you wouldn't be able to tell in a line of 10 people if he's Latino or not, proving to Ben at least that he hadn't violated the event's memory by whitewashing a guy who was clearly ethnic. So, from LARPing as a Mexican-American, to several groping scandals, those were all of Ben Affleck's most controversial moments ever.